Donald Trump's policies toward Israel and Palestine will eventually flare conflict not only in the occupied territories, but also in the region. The new president's promise to relocate the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem will undermine the viability of the two-state solution. Moving the embassy would mean that U.S. recognizes Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. It will also mean a reinstallation of the international agreements and the deviation from the U.S. fixed policies since the conflict erupted. Moving the embassy was one of Donald Trump's tools for his elections campaign, but it doesn't mean that he will forge ahead with his plan within a few days, weeks or months. Although Trump's promise to relocate the U.S. embassy in Israel, but I think his issue will re-examine again, but sooner or later it will happen. President Mahmoud Abbas has proactively sent letters to a host of world leaders, asking them to block Trump's approach. Hamas officials have also warned that relocating the embassy would put more oil on the fire. Meanwhile, Trump's administration has also frozen the transfer of $221 million payment granted by the Obama administration to the Palestinian Authority and has threatened to stop the funds if it's appropriate. During the Six-Day War in 1967, Israel expanded the borders of Jerusalem, annexing to the West Bank about 71 square kilometers of Palestinian land. Since then, Israel has built 12 settlements on the annexed land. Israel views Jerusalem as its capital, but world leaders consider its final status a matter of peace negotiations. Nuhar Zintelisu TV, Palestine.